All right, guys, so welcome back. Today, we are officially going to continue with another episode of Soma. A lot of you were correct. The game is, in fact, very, very interesting. Yes, it's very scary. In certain parts of the game, there's like really, really crazy jump scares. But um, the story is what really shines through and through. I feel like, although we're a little bit lost, the way that the story is being revealed and the things that we're still discovering, it's being done at a pace that keeps you very engaged and interested in the story, which is really hard to do in video games. And this game is doing a very, very exceptional job at that. So far, right, we, we get we go to this doctor to get some sort of brain scan. He's helping us out. Our wife or our girlfriend died. I don't recall if it was her fiance or our wife, but she died. Um, so then we go under some sort of scan when we meet up with this doctor. Mind you, it, everything's very sketchy. They've, they've got like this office in some sort of building. It's if it almost feels like there's no safety precautions or regulations there. We go under the scan and then all of a sudden we wake up in this underwater world, which is insane. And there's robots speaking like humans and stuff like that. There's been only like three humans in total and they've all been dead. And now we're here traveling underwater by train and shit like that looking for a woman named Catherine who is located in Lambda I believe that's what it was called and I think we've arrived right now I think we're here so we're very close to Catherine I said it on the first episode I think I don't trust Catherine I feel like we are going to be getting betrayed hopefully that's not the case um because I'd like to have a little friend in the midst of all of this craziness but thank you guys for being here I hope that made sense I'm already confused myself but uh Let's do this. All right, so. What the? Wait, did that happen last time? Dude, I, I literally took like two steps. Okay, hold on. Swipe the tool. Is this to go outside? I think this is to go back outside. Yep, the water is rising. No, we don't want to do this. Or do we? I don't I don't know. Mind you, I played this like really late. It was like two in the morning or something crazy. I'm I'm still trying to figure this out right now. Okay. Um oh hi. No, this is exactly no, that's where we came from. I don't recall how many of these things have actually gone ahead and Explored. I think this is actually a whole new area. I think we ended it at the beginning of this hallway. Yes, we haven't been here yet. Catherine? Perfect. Be quiet. Don't look at it. Oh, that's her. Don't look at it. What do you mean? Okay, so maybe I should be crouching here. Oh, hi. No, don't. Don't look. Don't look. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Ah, good shot. What the heck is that? Okay. Oh God, hi. I'm gonna take this with me just in case. And it's too early for this. Okay, Catherine, how about you unlock the doors? I'm here to save you. And yeah, you have me stranded in the deep, in the dark, excuse me, I can't even speak. With some sort of monster. Hello? Where is she? Simon, right here. Oh. No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take any more. This is everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I, I, 
I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omnitool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? The Pick door opener. Up at salon where I woke up. I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. When the Omnitool is loaded, just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Sure, whatever. Okay, so the Omni tool goes right over here. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Welcome. Lambda terminal 27 activated. The Omni tool is ready now. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connect. Uh Catherine? All right. Let's give this a try. I want to know why these people are robots and it's like they don't even know or it's like they're totally okay with it. Custom Cortex chip found. Shutting down helper chain. Have a nice day. Actors, pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well... I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. you just gave her a nickname, Kath. <laughs> what was it you said before? You're from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. Bro, that's crazy, dude. That is fucking nuts. <laughs> wow. That is insane. All right, so Check the computer in the other room. Let's see the other room. Can we go straight ahead? Okay, Can't it's... make any sense of it. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Alright, so I'm gonna check this room out. There's not a whole lot going on here, unfortunately. I like how everything you can just open. Not everything, but a good amount of things. It's pretty cool. It's it's just pointless crap, most of it, right? But it's it's the fact that it's there. It's available. Alright, uh oh. Oh hi, no you careful! I think it's back. Keep your eyes peeled. What is that? Okay, we've got to be very careful here. 
Can somebody please explain to me what that robot is? Like, what is that thing? I mean, it's a robot, but it's not. It's like... This is closed. This is locked. Not. Nope. Can't open it. How about this door? Yes, sir, we can. This is a bathroom. Fantastic. Ooh. Okay, we're fine. Totally fine. Okay, we went all the way across, right? We did. That's the shuttle station. Let's go back this way. Nothing here either. I have to make sure that I check every corner. You just, you just never know. Maybe, oh, this is the other. Oh, okay, these two are open now. Perfect. Excellent. Just check the computer. Yes, look for anything about the arc. Okay, this is a map. But it's got to be this computer. All right, here we go. Data recovered arc. Ah, that looks like the Assassin's Creed logo down there. <laughs> the opinion poll. Are you excited about the arc? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor of that. I think it's really important we do this. Hmm. What are your thoughts on the Ark? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do. Am I right? Are you optimistic about the project chances of... Um, about the Ark reaching space? Yeah, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem. How to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing. And hope Phi is still operational. Yeah, I think we can do it. But it's not going to be easy. The thing is... So they just transferred their like consciousness into these... Robots? Is that what's going on? What are your thoughts on the art project? The idea is uh, just incredible. By every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics. Beyond the superficial. I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. So this is where, where a lot of people were saying that this game makes you question a lot, a lot of things in life. Now we're starting to get into that mix, right, of this game, which is pretty, pretty trippy, to be honest. Is this from inside the Ark? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Holy It's a whole lot comfier than this place. Wow. So 12.2 square kilometers mixed uh, city as forest. The uh, uh, Aurus version 2, 2 square kilometers. The urban park. <laughs> Key wood. Wow. Okay. That's kind of cute. The arc schematics. Hmm. Hey, you see, it's like the consciousness put into, obviously, I don't know how to read any of this, these plans, these blueprints, but uh, I've got an idea. Okay, so then you put that in, oh, and then that's how they would go to space. Closest to the sun, ideal arc orbit. Dude, that's crazy. So the earth orbit is the yellow one, and then the arc or is it the yellow one and the arc orbit is no the white one is the earth and the arc orbit is a yellow so it's pretty similar so welcome if you're reading this you have successfully entered the arc the survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being please continue with the survey how do you describe your physical form i feel normal i feel Invigorated, a better version of myself. I feel alien. I'm a visitor inside another body. I feel fake, no longer a person. I feel 
go normal. How do you describe your mental? I feel disconnected, a separation of mind and body. I feel altered, a change in character. I don't exist anymore. I feel disconnected. No, I don't feel disconnected. I feel normal. I'm just scared. I don't know where the fuck I am. How would you describe your senses? I feel more sensitive to and aware of uh, to and aware of my surroundings. I feel blocked. I'm lacking one or more. So I think I feel uh, pretty sensitive. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? It's pleasant. I don't like it. Something is wrong. It's disconcerting. Everything feels constructed, depressing. I can't shake this feeling of it all being fake. Are you, are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? Uh, yeah, that's probably what I would feel. I would mourn my previous existence. How do you perceive your existence, your new existence? It's a direct continuation of my previous self, like a new chapter in life. It's like being born all over again, a complete do over something completely different. It has nothing to do with my previous life. Do you think this is the new existence will be uh, a life worth living? Just uh, as much, yes, but with less meaning. I would probably do that. Would you rather be moved from the project than accept death? Maybe I need to think about it. Um, normally I would pro unless my family comes with, I would just, I would gladly choose death. To be honest, your answers have been saved. Thank you for participating. The Ark Tracker. I found a tracker homed in on the Ark. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It, it's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. Oh. So maybe this one? That's ah. Okay, hold on. Um. about this one yep there it is I got it select the a sector to scan I really hope this is mostly trial and error until we get closer if not I'm gonna feel really dumb there it goes. Good. Oh my god. Oh, these are the areas. Oh, okay. So how about we go... Hmm. Could it be by Omega? Nope, it's right here. Select the sector to scan. Got it. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no. It's on Earth. It's so close to Phi, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could, could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. Hmm. Interesting. That's it, right? Take I'll it. take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. <laughs> Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the abyss. Can't date the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know, it's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? You know what? 
I found his sunken vessel just outside. Bet that could take us to Theta. Really? Didn't look completely out of action. It even lit up a little when I tried the Omni tool on it. Okay then, let's have a look. I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. Oh, so now since we have her in the actual little uh device, the Omni tool, she's on she comes along right, with let's us. Do this. Come pick me up. Oh, I see. Cool. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. I get, but do we do we still get to um speak with her now that she's pretty much here, or not really? Oh man, this is super trippy, man. This is trippy, dude. It's it's pretty much forcing the law of life and and living eternally which is it's not really god's plan man we're messing with the wrong power here this is gonna end up really bad i know it i know it a lot of you have told me that the ending is is worth playing this game like the, the ending is one of those endings that kind of just brain fuck you so that's why i've been really intrigued to play this game and even at the end of the last episode, we got further than we've ever gotten, you know, much, much further. I only played like the first 30 minutes or so. So I'm excited. I am very excited. All right, so we're here. I actually like the suit. We don't have to go that way, dude. No. I'm gonna put the Omni tool here. Uh, huh, what? What is this? Curie Emergency Vessel 4. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Oh, so she can only speak when she's connected. Okay. That would make sense. The Omni tool, I don't think it has speakers. <laughs> We're good. Sorry, it's dead. Oh, fuck. No, we're not good. Worth a shot? The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get around. Great. Interesting. Okay, so what do we do now? Okay, let me see. There's nothing behind it. I think we're supposed to go up this way. It's kind of crazy because we have nothing. There's like nothing guiding us. There's no map. There's... Bro, this is creepy. For those of you that have a phobia of underwater, like the ocean and stuff, I, I, I honestly think that you guys would not be able to play this. M maybe you would, but... This is pretty insane. Oh, hi! Not that crap again. Oh God, I'm a dead man. Oh God. What is that thing? I'm still trying to understand what those like, I guess we want to label them as a bad robots or entities. I don't know. Like, why are they here? Where'd they come from? How, how, how do they connect to you know, people like Catherine. Essentially, the world was going to end. These people transferred their consciousness over. Um, and and we're, we're just trying to live forever or survive the apocalypse. It's all making somewhat sort of sense. I think we're in the other vessel she was speaking about. I'm going to open this door up. Okay, before we go upstairs, I saw a ladder there. All right, just make sure that I cannot open that. Could I close that? Can't close it. Here we go. Hello? Is there anybody up there? I am looking for life. Actually, I gotta get the hell out of here. I would love to have a suit like this where we can breathe underwater forever. That would be so cool. Hello? Okay, 
Okay, so we are going to... Oh, so that was literally just a passageway to come across. All right, so I think we're definitely on the right path. Uh-oh, what is that? No, no. No, stop it. Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. Not the right time and place! Fuck. Scared the crap out of me. Bro. See, this game, it, it, it's, it's not like, it's not creepy, but it's got jump scares, which is, I, I, I don't know which one is worse. It, it, it definitely depends on the mood, you know? Like, you play Japanese horror games, it's, it's, it's kind of both, but definitely you have that creepy vibe the entire time, which really freaking sucks. I think maybe the creepy vibe all the time sucks more. But, but, but the jump scares, man, they're no joke. And this game is really good with the jump scares. They're very freaking loud. All right, so I don't know where I'm going. Oh, wait, could it? Oh, oh, look. Oh, is that a hammerhead? Oh, that's nice. I know I saw a ladder on the other side, but let's see if we can. It's got to be here. Watch me come here and it's not even here. I just traveled all of this for no reason. That that would be quite hilarious and slightly painful. Oh. What the heck? Ah. Dude, I don't know where I'm going. I've got like no direction in life at all. <laughs> Hello? Is there anybody in there? Any life forms? All right, we're in. Let's in find a working escape in tunnel. Inside. No? Okay. Well, I think we're in the right place. That's good. Aw. Aw, dude, that's fucking sad. Where's this taking us? Oh! Seriously? Oh, come on. Ah! Oh, go, 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 go. What the fuck is that shit? My boy doesn't even walk, he just teleports. Here, go drill something. I don't know, do something with your time. Oh, emergency shot. How did we even get here? There's so many doors. Wow, we did it. Yes. I am a genius. I'm sorry, I'm a genius. Oh, you made it. This is much better. Let's see if we can't get this thing moving. Ah, uh, wait, what? Safety locks are blocking the vessel's release. Are you kidding? How much more of an emergency could this ship be in? It's on the bottom of the sea. Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Maybe there's an override or something. There's monsters out there. Like the ones we saw at Lambda. The more reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Ah, shit. We need to get out of here. I know, I know, I'm going. You're asking a little too much now, uh, sweetheart, you know? 
You're asking for a little too much. Don't like. Me no likey. Okay, so the engine room. Oh, look, that's what... Oh, dude. Yeah, that, it, was, it was flat out an apocalypse. Ah! Okay, this guy needs to stop. Seriously, fucking hell. Where's the engine room? Where's the engine room? Where is the engine room? No, this is where I came from. The bathroom. Great. The bathroom. What is the bathroom going to do for me? people. I think they could be dead people brought back. To life? Sure. Well, let's call it that. Well, there she goes. She just answered my question. Okay, I'm gonna try and walk versus running. Maybe that ought to help me out. The toilet. Perfect place to take a massive dump. In such a situation like this. Where's the engine room here, man? That's where I gotta go, right? The engine room. Ah, oh, here we go. the door dude I'm limping what is going on why am I limping oh my god oh my god what do these things even do do you guys know I have no thing I stuck my entire hand in that boho looking thing is that like health or something or because I was walking much better afterwards I don't know look dude I'm confused scared and afraid which is actually the same thing but I don't know what to think anymore I've just about done had it with this with this dump 
I want to go home. I don't know who that doctor is to scan my brain and put me in this freaking world here. is pretty much gone. Damn, that sucks, dude. That must be so sad. Alright, so the aerial's blocked. I think we came from below. There we go. Right, now we're starting to walk a little bit better. We're still limping. But it's okay. Let's get this opened. Let me see if I can go. Is there a door here I can open? No. Let's go upstairs. Uh oh. What is that? That's just the window. We're going to go up here. Oh. Here it is. It's got to be here. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Am I doing the right thing? Oh my God. Leave me alone. Reactor collapse imminent. Proceed to the emergency. Downstairs, downstairs. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was this way, it was this way. Oh god. Okay, I'm in. So let's get the hell out of here. It's taking so long. Can't you do it any faster? I'm almost there. All right, here we go. Hold on to something. Dude, that was crazy, man. That was <laughs> that was a little crazy. Can you steer this thing? Starboard rotor is choking, but I can compensate. How do you even know what direction we're going in? Don't worry, I'm hooked up to the navigator. We're headed for Theta. Should be a matter of minutes. I thought I was done for back there. Seems like the WoW was keeping the Curie from going into a catastrophic failure state. I, I mean, how did it get on the ship? Are you talking about the black tentacles in the engine room? I've seen them before at Upsilon. What are they? They're a manifestation of a malfunctioning station-wide artificial intelligence called the WoW. Station-wide? So we just made a powerful enemy. No, no, it's not like that. The AI isn't a persona. It doesn't feel or think like we do. It's more like, uh, it's more like a cancer. Well, that doesn't help either, does Was it? Was that the ship? Looks like your sabotage worked better than expected. Freeze for impact! Hold on, the blast just pushed us off the plateau! What does that mean? If I don't hit Delta, we're dead. Oh, God. Oh! Are we dead? Now, of course, we're not dead. We've got like five hours left here. We're definitely alive. Please remain seated. Okay. Oh my god. Please tell me you're still alive. Did she die? 
Okay, hold on. We've got to find a switch here. I'll never get this open. Okay, we <laughs> we never get this. Oh, what are you talking about? I, oh, hi. Whoa. Oh, it's the robot. The little robot that helped us last time. Or is it? Oh, ha, ha. It is. It is. Yes. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Oh, hey, little guy. Didn't expect to see you again. Stranded in no the deep. Yet. I'll find a way to say it. Oh, a little crab. She has a pretty big crab. So, we're here now. What do we do here? Do we... Can we go up inside here? Oh, we could. Wow, this is cool. Oh, the music is just nice. Oh, snap. Come in, Strasky. Can you hear me? Theta, listen. Acres is headed for Theta. Is that so this is something completely optional that we would have just never even figured out if we didn't come up here interesting cool. that just looks so wrong it looks like I'm fisting a damn butthole sorry a little vague there on, on the statement I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry Okay, hold on. Um, can we just get out of here? Oh, snap. Oh, so this serves as like a map. Well, Theta is right there. Oh. All right, cool. Damn, I didn't know that. That's neat. What was the name she said? Acres? 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 Something like that? I'm moving exceptionally slow right now. Okay, I'm going to follow the platform here. I would assume the game wants me to follow this. Ah, oh, there's Delta right there. Perfect. This is so crazy, man. Like, this game is fully underwater. First person underwater game about horror. Pretty nice. How do we go in there? Do I keep following the tracks or? Why am I moving so damn slow, dude? Do I still have the suit on? I think I do. If not, I wouldn't be able to breathe underwater, but. Oh, it's another robot. Wait a minute. What is this? Control room. Oh, hello Good there. Am I right? Can't believe how much I'm sweating in this suit. Hey, could you maybe help? I need to get the data. Give me some room, will you? Oh, well, F you, dude. Okay, we need to find a way. I'm so lost. There's so many areas that we can kind of just go into. Let me let me go in here. Can we open this up? Can this robot open this up? Yes, he can, and yes, he will. <laughs> Dude, I love this little guy. You are so generous. You are so generous. So I think that's it. He leaves me now? 
So this is where I was supposed to be. Okay. I'm supposed to be here in the first place. If not, he wouldn't have left. Oh, God. More dead. Fucking hell. You saw that, right? You saw Akers fucking injecting that shit into them? He got me pretty bad. I think I made it worse pulling away. I, I can feel it bleeding out. Can you see him? Fuck. He got on the Zeppelin. He's going back to Theta. We have to warn them. Good luck with that. The platform radio is dead. Remember? The Lumar Annex should work. It has to. Yeah. You go. I'm not gonna make it. I'm just not. Come on, Evans. We have to warn them. Come on! Are you kidding me? Now I can run? Oh, the robot, the robot is still there. Okay, so maybe this is not it. Oh, dude, now finally. All right, this is much better. So now I can explore now without moving so darn slow. Okay, so let's go back this way. There's a couple of uh, Delta stations, many stations that we can go in. Like this, for instance. What is this in here? He's still following me, so we're not we're not done here yet. All right, I'm gonna follow the tracks. There's something all the way over there at the end. What about this here? Hello? Okay, so we came around here. We're gonna make a left. See if we can go in here. Ah. Hold on. No, that's... That's taking us back. Oh, two. Can we go in there? Oh, maybe it's here. Let's check this out. Oh, snap. Look at this. A little crab. Alright, open up. Let's go, dude. Where's the robot? Come on, dude. Hello? Come on, over here. Over here. Oh! <laughs> it was unlocked. I was, I, was, I was thinking the robot was going to do it for me. Oh, God. That's embarrassing. Well, we made it. So, that, that's fine. That's what matters. We have made it. Light is hurting my eyes. Or telling me I don't need this vitreous flesh inside. My something for salvation. I will be gladly revoke them. I don't know. Stop them from a. I'm sorry. I can't read all of that. Maybe you guys can, and if you can, you know what? Congratulations. I, on the other hand, slightly cannot read it. Right, the lockers are stuck. I'm surprised they haven't, like, put, like, some sort of horror in these lockers, you know? Like, since you can interact with everything, like, just throw a jump scare in there or something. It's exciting to... It's exciting to watch WoW claim Delta... Half a year ago, I'd be worried I'd give uh, Goya and Juan clean the block, the black blood from the machinery. Now it's crusty surface. It seems to complement. It even outshines what Delta was. Oh, hold on, dude. Can I? I forgot about that. It's exciting to watch WoW claim Delta. Half a year ago, I'd be worried. I'd have Goya and Juan clean the black blood from the machinery. Now, it's crusty surfaces that seem to complement every... Okay, so maybe I can read this now. 
There we go. The light is hurting my eyes. He's telling me I don't need this vitreous flesh inside of my skull to see salvation. I'm glad I'll, I'll gladly remove them. Stop them from obfuscating of, of of the divine mission. <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to head to Theta then. We've already about uncovered everything. See, the robot is even here waiting for us. Uh, or maybe not. Hey, dude. Do you know what we have to do here? I'm a little lost. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Oh, can't interact. Oh, he's alive. He's alive. Well, that's weird. Okay, hold on. How about this way? Talk to this. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Hey, can you hear me? Come stand there. You know better than that. Oh, God. No signal. I think I need some vacation, sir. Not to speak papers about that. Isn't that right, Akers? What is this? Oh, shoot. So, can we do anything? Antenna. Restoring. Strasky, you can see the Zeppelin now. Good. Sorry about the mess. Without the positioning system, the Zeps just keep losing their set roots. Volchek did say that you could have fixed it on your side by rejigging the antenna. I guess it doesn't matter now. Are all of you coming? No, just me, Goy, and Creer. Yeah, because it's set up being a stubborn old man. All right. <laughs> uh, see you soon, Brandon. Happy to be back. Peter, can you hear me? Uh, I hear you, Terry. I, I mean, Mr. Akers, sir. I've changed my mind. I would like to come to Theta. Let Delta sleep. Of course. Oh, wow. Uh, honestly, didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, such a long time since you checked in. Uh, we have a few divers in a Zeppelin surveying Lambda at the moment. I'll just make sure they pick you up when they're done. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll make sure they feel welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, see you when you get here. <laughs> Okay. Transport position lost. Manually adjust antennas. We gotta manually adjust the antennas. Link is uh, established. Two two sixteen. Let's see if we can do something with two sixteen here. Two sixteen. So how about 049? Let's do 049 and see what we get out of that. Well, 049's got to be... Okay. I don't know, man. I just say we can keep things classy even when women aren't around. <laughs> Right, 049 established. Let's go check that out. Transport active. Unspecified cargo. Oh. Nice. The Zeppelin's on its way. Gotta get ready. Nice. Was it here? Where's it coming to? 
It's gotta be here. That's the landing, right? That's definitely the Zeppelin. Whoa. Bro, that looks like some sort of freaking giant bug. <laughs> cool. Let's go. You gotta be honest. I figured that all by myself. I feel pretty damn accomplished. Ah. Calm down. We're safe. Oh, it's really disconcerting popping in and out of existence like that. Where are we now? Delta. At least that's what you said before the crash. Oh, right. Of course. Is this a Zeppelin? Appropriately named. You think it can get us to Theta? It's a cargo transport. They use them for moving materials between the sites, anything that's too big for the shuttles. I'm sure it can carry us. Ugh, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Isn't that part of the Omni tool? Look who's been paying attention. I have to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. Care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. What? Just knock a robot over the head and steal their chips? The toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. Oh. Have I hurt anyone? Isn't this a bit much? It's just a robot, Simon. We're just robots. Sort of. I'll get us the chip. Oh my god. <laughs> this is... We're gonna knock down that robot that's been roaming around. <laughs> Guess I have no choice. Oh, this is cool. I had no idea we we're gonna uh, we were gonna get weapons here. What the frick? Oh, we're gonna, dude. I feel so bad. Not that. Nope. Not doing it. Not to you, little guy. Don't worry. Not you. I'm, I'm gonna do it to this guy right here. This guy has been a scumbag. You'd let her manage your payload? What? That doesn't even make sense. Come on. Stop messing around and get back to work. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, God. This is so messed up. <laughs> Such a fuck, dude. Oh, come on, bro. Are you kidding me? This works. I will say, this changes the, the com completely the entire vibe of the game. The fact that now we have some sort of tool to defend ourselves. <laughs> Hopefully, that, that would be cool. That would definitely be cool. Thanks, Simon. Don't be mad, okay? We really needed that chip. We, we'd be stuck here. Could you do it? Kill a robot like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was talking. I mean, he was delusional, but he seemed sincere. Present. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure. Whoa, dude, what the hell? And it's like she doesn't even care. Like I'm telling her about my problems and she just doesn't even care. Unbelievable. It's all kind of sort of making sense. Are we really human? Are we just robots? Are we living in some sort of simulation? Who is the puppet master? Because it's definitely not us. We are the puppets. This is so trippy.
Wow. It's true what you guys are saying. This this game really does make you question a lot of crap. Well, here we go. So we're almost there. You're really good back there, Simon. We got a slight delta detour, but we're back on track. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Theta. Then we just head inside, grab the Dunback, and head down the abyss. Four thousand meters. That's a long way. We don't have to worry though, because with the Dunback. The Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. What? Oh, sorry. I, I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears. No mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Kath, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <laughs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside Theta, okay? See you soon. This is becoming trippier and trippier <laughs> every single time. Wow. Holy smokes. Data buffer available. Strasky, wake up Dr. Masters. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Jesus Christ. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The valve surge and a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait, where are Komorabi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. Yeah, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. All right, see you soon. All right, so we've got a couple of things here. We've got, what is this here? Oh, that actually might be where we need to go. Well, I'm happy to say that we've made it. We have made it to Theta. Let's see, there's no like secret doors here or anything that we can kind of search any little areas. This right here looks like some sort of chest. Great. No, but this is not a loot game. This is not. <laughs> definitely not a looting game. That probably has no purpose whatsoever. Except for the aesthetics. Alright, let's go back this way. See, there's another one right here. Oh, whoa, whoa! Never mind. Uh, uh, are you there? Who is this? Catherine? I'm busy working. Oh, I just wanted to say thank you for what you did. Don't worry about it, but you should stand up for yourself. I mean, Strohmeyer doesn't have that kind of authority. You can just tell him to go fuck himself. Oh, I just don't. I'm not that kind of a person. You can't expect people to fight for you all the time. You're a brilliant person, Cal. You're so smart it makes my head spin, but sometimes you just disappear into yourself. Suddenly it's like talking to a fucking five-year-old. It's just hard. I can't just be more like that. Everyone would know I'm pretending. 
It's not too late to win people over. Strasky likes you. I like you. Reed likes you. Strasky likes everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wait, you think Reed likes me? Catherine, a lot of people like you. You just need to open up a little. Be more approachable. Can I get back to work now? I'd rather not be reprimanded twice in one day. Okay, see you back inside. Over and out. Oh, was that Catherine, the lady that is in our Omni tool? Interesting. Oh, there's another one right here. This thing on? Can everyone hear me? Go ahead, Strom. Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Quality. Good? Beautiful, That must sir. have sucked so right, bad. Everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. Oh, man. Like imagine like seeing the world go to crap and then like you have to figure out some okay, fucking way to Thank you, Catherine. Wait. Am I already here? Hello? Who is that? Mark? No. We haven't met before. Is this Mark? I think we're safe. Oh. I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass. Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. How did you get here? I got scanned, like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living scan in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. Mm. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Wow. Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? <laughs> no. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? <laughs> I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. Wow. I don't know. Should I disconnect them? I'm going to leave. No, I'm not going to. And I don't think we have... I mean, we have the option, but I don't think it's... It'd be do or die for us if we don't, so we'll just let them live. Robots deserve to live too, okay? Okay, what the hell? That was eventful. <laughs> what well, lies beyond door number one? Find out next time. In Dragon Ball Z. Oh, there's actually another door. <laughs> Oh,
Got a camera there. Swipe the Omni tool. Access granted. Perfect. Dune bounce. Oh, very nice. Wow, this is one hell of an entrance, okay? Just get, just gonna say that. Ooh, this is... Hello? Anyone there? Well, Catherine, we found Theta. Guys, we have arrived. At Theta. I think this is a good spot to end the video. Wow. I have no idea what the heck's gonna happen. But I'm so, so intrigued. I would probably keep playing a little bit more. <clears throat> but to be honest, got a couple of things I gotta do now. I wanted to make these videos like two hours long, but it's just not gonna be possible right now. But I hope you guys are enjoying the story. I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. It's, it's fun experiencing new games. Even though this is not technically new, it's like five, six years old. But the story itself to me is new and it's pretty damn good. So thank you again for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it, you know, consider dropping a like. That helps me out. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.